Hello everybody, it is me, Red Rum. It is Pride Month, and I'm coming out of the closet. Hey guys, it is me, Red Rum, and welcome back to my channel. It is Pride Month, as I said in my little intro. And I kind of felt that this year was the year that I'm going to finally come out to you guys publicly. I've tried to make this video a lot in the past, but I wasn't able to, you know, articulate the words right, and I didn't know how to um, tell you guys who I am. And it kind of sucks that I've been hiding this part from you guys for a long time. But it's not really my fault because, in a sense, I finally just became comfortable with who I am this year. And I know that kind of sucks in a way because I've always been like, you know, pro-LGBT and I've always been in the LGBT community but I didn't know where in the LGBT community I fit in. I, throughout my life, I've identified as different things in different parts of my life. And things never seemed to fit, and I felt things didn't fit until this year when I finally admitted to myself of who I am. It is Pride Month. And it is actually my birthday today, so I figured that today will be a new rebirth on who I am and it'll be a new beginning on my life. It'll be a new beginning to be my authentic self, not only to you guys, but in public and possibly in the future to my family. But if they see this video, I'm not gonna need to come out to them face to face which I'm kind of scared to. As I said before, at different stages of my life, I've identified as different things, um, especially with my sexuality. My gender identity issues started to come a little bit um, later in my life, but they were still very present in my childhood. Right now I'm gonna talk about my sexuality. I am pansexual. It's really great to say that out in public, um, and especially for it to be broadcasted in public. I'm very much happy that, you know, I'm able to say that very proudly, that I am pansexual. I thought for a very long time that I was 100% lesbian. I was kidding myself the entire time. Unfortunately, that caused me a lot of damage into like, you know, my gender identity as well. I thought if I were to embrace myself with, you know, only liking girls, me pretending to be a girl, you know, and just like doing stuff like with girls and stuff, that I would, you know, fit into like the gender binary that I was born as. It was very damaging because, you know, I like everybody. It caused me in a way to deny that I like trans people as well. I like non-binary people. I like everybody. It doesn't matter who you are, as long as I'm attracted to you in some way, I like you. And that's the way that I've always felt. I mean, when I identified as a lesbian, I still had crushes on cisgendered men and I was like, okay, I gotta hide this, I gotta hide this, I gotta hide this. And another reason why I said that I was a lesbian was so that, you know, I could just be like, hello, LGBT rights. I said LGBT rights in this household because I was afraid that, you know, if I didn't commit to being 100% lesbian that I wouldn't be taken seriously in my household um, for being LGBT and I felt that you know if I was bisexual or pansexual that I would just be seen as you know being in a phase which was increasingly damaging to who 
I am. And it was damaging, especially when it came to gender identity. Because of my gender identity, I am not a lesbian because I do not identify as a girl. And that's another thing that, you know, I was dealing with. I was like, I'm not a girl. I I'm not a lesbian. I cannot be a lesbian if I'm not a girl. It made me feel so confused and so, like, you know, disorientated for a while because I wasn't being true to who I was. It's perfectly fine if you were born female, assigned female at birth, to, you know, have crushes on, you know, cisgendered men and still, you know, be LGBT. You can be pansexual, you could be bisexual. They're still valid and they're a part of the LGBT community. At the time and still what's been going on in the gay community actually is there's a lot of bi and pan erasure. Like there's like these gay people, there's like these gay men and there's these lesbian women who are like, you can't be bisexual, that's not a real thing and that's in our own fucking community which is disgusting i mean i think people should have more respect towards bisexual and pansexual people because you know we're part of a community we're part of the queer community and that's what i was afraid of that you know i would be seen as you know not valid in my community luckily the people um that you know, I've been friends with in the queer community. Um, they've all been very, very um, cool with pansexuality and bisexuality, and they really enjoy, you know, people that are open and proud to be themselves. I, I am red and I am genderqueer, AKA non-binary. That means I'm not a girl, I'm not a guy, I'm somewhere in the gray area, which is perfectly fine and valid. I never really felt like a girl, I never really felt like a guy, um, I never really felt like, you know, anything in the gender binary. I always was like, I don't give a fuck about gender roles, I don't give a fuck about, you know, anything that has to do with the binary gender. It was never me. I don't like it. Like. It's cool with you if you are in the gender binary, you guys are cool. I still love you and I respect you, but that's just not me. I do not fit in the gender binary, like I never felt like a girl, I never felt like a guy, and I felt like a person in a gray area. Now I played with my gender identity a little bit and I thought I was by gender, which means that you were either a girl or a guy, but as I said, I was never a girl or a guy. It all kind of made sense to me when I started playing with my gender and I started learning about, you know, the different genders besides being a girl or a guy. And it kind of fit into place when I found out the words Gender queer, aka non-binary. Non Everything, like, you know, felt right and safe into, you know, this label that I found out about. I knew that I wasn't a female when I was little because whenever I would look at, like, male singers that, you know, struck me in awe, I would, like, be like, I want to be just like them, but I didn't want to be, like, a female version of them. I wanted to be, like, a male version of them. And I wanted to, like, pretty much be, you know, a hot male singer on the stage. But I also wanted to have my femininity. I do like, you know, femininity as well. I love to look like Morticia Adams. I love to look like that. But I also like to look like a soft goth boy, like I am today. Um, I like to bind my chest. I like to make the illusion that my hair is short. I like to make the illusion that I look androgynous and that's perfectly fine. Um, it's just that's the way that, you know, I've always felt like I don't really care about the gender binary. Like sure, yeah, I'll dress like a little bit girly one day, but doesn't make me any less trans or non-binary like I'll look like
freaking, as I said, Morticia Adams, and I will still be non-binary. I am not a girl. I am non-binary. I am genderqueer. I am me. My pronouns are they, them, and it has been they, them for about a year and a half already. I've been kind of playing with my gender, as I said, and um, when I found out about, you know, being non-binary, I started to finally, like, kind of input a little bit more masculine things into my, um, into my routine. Right now I use a lot more masculine grooming products. I bind my chest. I'm going to start, like, slightly transitioning, but I'm not taking hormones for it. I'm not taking hormones because I don't really feel like I'm it's necessary for me yet um, I'm going to be making the big chop with my hair um, that's gonna be like sometime after October but I started to kind of change a few things to make myself more comfortable like I haven't shaved my armpits in like you know a few years like that's just the way that, you know, I feel comfortable because it makes me feel a little bit masculine. And yes, I do like to feel a little bit masculine, but I also like to feel a little bit feminine as well. I am non-binary and I am pansexual and that's kind of the gist of the video is I want to come out to you guys and just let you guys know this is who I am and I'm not afraid to show it. I am very prideful in me being LGBT and I hope you guys are very prideful about you being LGBT and I it, and even if you are not LGBT I hope you're very prideful with your LGBT families, uh, friends and whatnot and who's it. I love you guys so much. Have a happy and safe Pride Month. I know that a lot of cities already had their Pride Month um, parade. But Chicago hasn't had theirs yet, so if you're going, be careful. I am not attending this year, only because I'm saving money for my trip. And I will tell you guys a little bit about the trip a little bit later. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. 